Hi, it's Ken from Say Software, and I'm going to talk about two new parameters that have been added to the Snapper and the Anchored Snapper in FME 2017. The two parameters are the cleaning tolerance mode and the cleaning tolerance itself. To show this, I'm going to use some very simple lines. We've got two green lines which are going to go into the candidate port of the Anchored Snapper, and the red line will go into the Anchor port. FME should try to snap the green lines onto the red line and we should hold the red line fixed. We shouldn't move the red line around because it's going in the anchor port. So if we look at the anchored snapper, you can see that we've got segment snapping turned on. So that means FME can try to snap a line somewhere along the middle of a segment and create a new vertex. We'll leave the cleaning tolerance mode to auto for the moment and I'll just run this and we can have a look at what happens. So once this is run, and I've just made the lines thick here so we can see it more clearly, FME does indeed snap the green lines onto the red line. You can see that the orange is the snapped output. So we snapped the green lines down and we did indeed create two new vertices along the red line. So this is pretty much what we would expect to happen. If we go back to the Anchored Snapper Transformer, we can look at this cleaning tolerance mode. What did this cleaning tolerance mode do? FME set it automatically, and we can think of the cleaning tolerance mode as a distance within which FME will not try to create extra vertices during the cleanup of a snapping operation. So we can see in the log that FME set a very, very small cleaning tolerance. It was 6 times 10 to the negative 15. So FME figured that out based on the extents of the data. And if we look at these lines, in fact they're not very big at all. This distance here was only 0.1 meters. So these lines are only a few meters long. And FME created a cleaning tolerance that was much, much smaller than the gap between these two new vertices. So it automatically figured out that cleaning tolerance and then when we use the segment snapping, it was okay for FME to create those two vertices, even though they seem kind of close to each other. Given the extents of the data set, they're far enough apart that it was okay to create those. Now let's imagine that these lines are actually really long, and this distance here is super small relative to the data set. So if we go back to our starting point, really if this is a if these are very, very long lines and this distance is really, really small, we really only want one new vertex here and, the, and these green lines should both snap into that. This is where the cleaning tolerance comes into play. So I'll set it manually now and I'm kind of pretending that those lines are really long. So I'm going to set it a little bit bigger than what that gap was. So I'll set it to 0.12 meters. So now the tolerance is bigger than that gap, and we're basically saying to FME, really we, only, we don't want you to create more than one new vertex within that tolerance. So if we run this now, you can see that we actually only created one new vertex along the anchor line. So when I click on the anchor line, you'll see that there was only one new vertex added here, and the snapped output shows that we snap the endpoints of the green lines onto that single new vertex because that gap that we had before was smaller than the cleaning tolerance. So we're hoping this is going to help make cleaner data and it should ease other geometry operations that you might do further along the line such as dissolving or intersecting. Thanks very much.